please support this channel by clicking subscribe, then hitting the bell, and then hitting all to get future notifications. Hello and welcome to another Suburban Psalm tasting video. Today we are tasting Plump Jack's Merlot. This is the 2016 vintage and I've got my friend and neighbor John along uh, for the ride on this one. Uh, a little bit about this. I basically, Merlot, obviously it's, it's huge over there in Bordeaux. I guess the right bank is where it's the predominant grape in the blend. So it, it's a big deal over there. In the States, not as much. I mean, you've got the big boys. You've got Chardonnay, you've got Cabernet. And then after that, Merlot is kind of mixed in with Pinot and Syrah, uh, distant fourth, fifth place, something like that. Uh, so not as well thought of, but there are a few producers that actually do it justice, and I was told that Plump Jack is one of those. After searching for probably over a year or two in local wine stores and not finding it, I finally broke down and ordered this directly from their website. It's been dying to try it and today seemed like a pretty good time to crack it open. As you can see, we went ahead and decanted this. It's probably been decanted going on about two hours. There's a slight chill on it from the refrigerator, but not much. We're talking maybe 10 minutes in, in the fridge just to, uh, to bring that temperature down a little bit. So, John, what do you say we give this thing a dance and Let's give it a it. try? I'm really looking forward to it. Absolutely. I can already see this is a very, very dark. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can already get the nose on that. Just John is, uh, yeah, I can, I'm getting it too. Very aromatic. Yeah. Uh, very dark, ruby color. So it's only four years old, but you would expect to see a little more purple. This one's, uh, I'd say, on the red side. That's a good sign. Uh, everything I've been told is that this is drinking well through 2025, so you certainly could sell her this for a while yet. Uh, I do not have a bunch of other bottles. I wish I did. This retails for on their site. I think it's about 64 bucks. The nose is bountiful. Get a little more air in there. Yes, that sure is. There's a lot going on in the nose. A lot of red fruit, mm -hmm. some spice, maybe some toasted vanilla, chocolate. Yeah, I definitely get some some dark cherry, a little chocolate. Very inviting. I mean, this is a mm -hmm. kind of wine I could just keep my nose in all night. Yeah. But at some point, we're going to have to give this a drink. <laughs> I think that point is now. Yeah. So we're getting, I'm getting tannin, but but silky tannin. Mm -hmm. So it's not biting, it's not harsh. No. Dark fruit, I, I'd say, I'm getting a lot of plum and cherry on that. Yeah, purple plum, definitely. Get a little tobacco, get a little essence of that. Maybe you call that your spice, but. Yeah, I could see tobacco or maybe even the licorice or coffee grounds. Mm -hmm. It kind of hits the back, the sides of your tongue. Definitely some serious alcohol in this. Um, what is it? Oh yeah, 15.4%. <laughs> so um, that's going to be on your high end as far as wine goes. But you can feel that burn going down. And it would be even more so had I not chilled this. Right now though, I'd say it's drinking pretty well. And I think it's only going to open up even in another hour or so. We're planning on enjoying this with some beef, and I think it's going to do pretty well. Me too. It really has a lingering to it. I mean, you really, that flavor stays on your tongue. Yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. So, lingering finish, as he pointed out. I mean, it's probably been 30 seconds, and I, I'm, I still taste it on the palate. Mm hmm. So that's a nice, enjoyable Merlot. It's, good. it's going to be good with dinner. I think they uh, they did it justice. Um, like I said earlier in the video, Merlots aren't as big over here. 
Uh, if you were to go to a liquor store, you're going to find a very small Merlot section, and most of them are $15, $20. This would certainly be on the high end, and it's probably worth every penny. I, I think this is a nice, complex, enjoyable wine. Any uh, final thoughts from you, John? No, I, I, I think it's, uh, as you said, Merlot is uh, not as popular as some, but boy, this is just a very good drinking wine. I agree. And this is what we're drinking today.